Well, today, uh, this is the Nesmuk uh, that I really did a sweet job on those handles. I see a flaw. I see a flaw, damn it. Well, I can get that out, it's not a problem. And I know what it is. Uh, it's lint. And uh, I've ordered some lint-free applicators. And that will eliminate that problem, but I can sand that out and put some true oil back on it. But uh, that's done except for the edge. I gotta make the sheath for this, it's sold. Uh, this is the Damascus. I've got the handle shaped. Now I gotta hand sand it. And because I have to glue my or epoxy and pin my handles on before I can work them, uh, I'm gonna have to uh, sand this entire spine all the way down to the blade tip. So the only Damascus that's actually going to be showing is the blade because uh, even this will be sanded right up to here, and uh, that will be Damascus, but the sides will, will be Damascus. Uh, I'm gonna sand this, and then I'm gonna go and make the sheath for this, and make the sheath for this. This is not sold yet, if anybody wants to talk to me about this. Uh, and then I've got another nest book that uh, is sold. <laughs> I, uh, so uh, I'm going to stop working on this other Damascus and I'm going to go to working on this and uh, it's, get, it's getting a Bacote handle which uh, I'm going to take this down to my table saw and cut it into handle thickness and since I'm down there I may take a whole bunch of my blocks down there uh, and cut them up all at once, one time so I don't have to keep going down there. So, let me get this in the vise and get this handle shaped and ready to ready to have true oil put on it. I'm gonna go ahead and make a sheath for it. And uh, tonight I'll probably start putting some true oil on it now that I know the secret. And uh, I'll fix that little flaw there. And uh, there we go. So that's today's plan. Okay. I like it. Yep, my favorite part of making a knife is the handle. I don't know why. I cannot wait to get this in tonight and start putting some true oil on it. Okay, next we go to the leather room. And uh, actually I'm going to go turn that air conditioner on in there. And uh, I may go down to my other shop and get my table saw set up and start cutting these into knife handle sizes. We'll be back. Okay, I have made the sheath for the uh, Damascus dinner skinner and the Damascus dinner skinner is sold. Uh, what I wanted to talk about is, uh, let me just show you the other sheath. This is for the nest mook that I've got made and uh, for the first time I was able to make the handle look like it was dipped in liquid glass. Well, this is the sheath for that. I still have to sew it up. This is the sheath for the Damascus dinner skinner and uh, you know I have mentioned that I'm not happy with my sheath making oh the level that I'm at with my sheaths now I know that I'm making sheaths that are of good quality I'm using really good leather thick leather uh, I'm using really good stitching I'm putting them together nice with a welt in in the between and I uh, but I have not reached the level of sheath making that I want to. And if I can find the, the picture of what I hope to 
attain the, the level of, I don't know, artsiness. I mean, I want to make beautiful sheaths. And these are utilitarian. I, you know, I have in the past, I have uh, done some basket weave and some designs around the edge. And it does dress them up. But the fact is that they're, they're still a plain Jane sheath with some fancy tooling on it. And uh, I really want to take my sheath game to the next level. And I think I will slowly. Uh, I go to a lot of uh, knife making and sheath making forums. And I look at pictures of other people's work. And, uh, you know, people let information out that I didn't know. And uh, like beeswax. I just got some beeswax. I did not know that's what people were putting on the edge to make them look so slick and smooth. Anyway, let me get that one done. And this, all I got to do is put the edge on that nest mook and uh, I can ship it to its new owner. I get to work on this. Well, here we go. That's the Damascus Dinner Skinner sold. This is the nest mook. Uh, all I need to do now is uh, put an edge on it and give that blade one last sand going over with the 600 grit and some oil. Uh, I need to let both of these dry out because uh, I, I wet them at the seam inside and out and I wet it here so I can bend this over and it'll stay. Uh, I wet it completely so the stain will seep in. This is a water, uh, water soluble stain here. The, the, that's what I use back there. So, uh, these got to dry for a couple of days. I have a fan that I will uh, put on them. I'll, what I'll do is lay them down like this and aim the fan at them and they'll dry out in a couple of days. Okay, well, uh, the I'll show you the dinner skinner. You've seen the nest mook. Uh, I'll put it in the sheath and show you what it looks like. And the dinner skinner, I probably got oh, six or seven more coats of true oil to put on it. I put the first one on today, so I am done in the shop for today. I'm going uh, going up there to the house where the knives are and my true oil, <laughs> and uh, going to get to work on that. I just thought I'd show you these one last time. This is uh, sold. Actually, they're both sold. But uh, that's how nice that handle come out. Okay, I'm gonna upload that video. You'll see it in the morning and tomorrow. Uh, I'm actually gonna put the edge on these and they'll be ready to ship. Uh, I do have to wait a day or so for these sheaths to finish drying out. Uh, I'm gonna put them in front of a fan tonight and uh, tomorrow evening. Let's see, what is today? What is today, Monday, Tuesday? Hold on, let me look at the calendar here. Yeah, Monday, Tuesday, so Wednesday. I should be able to ship these Wednesday. Already, uh, with the money from these and the money I have from the last one I sold, I'm going to be able to buy the machine that will allow me to etch my logo into the blade. Far out. 